In late August of 2021, I purchased the Focal Stelia, a hi-fi audiophile headphone with an MSRP of 3,000 US dollars. Four months of ownership later, did I make the right choice or do I regret ever buying them in the first place? Today, I will tell you all about this indulgent piece of tech, its pros and cons, and whether my multi-thousand dollar splurge on them was worth it. Before we continue, this video is brought to you by cdkeyoffers.com, a one-stop shop for reliable game and software keys. Right now, they're offering 20% off Windows 10 Pro OEM keys when you enter promo code BW20 at checkout. Getting your key is easy. Once you've added it to your cart, enter promo code BW20, fill out your payment info, and complete the purchase before heading to your purchased orders page to view and copy your new key. Simply paste it into the Windows activation page and voila, your operating system is fully authenticated. To grab your discounted Windows 10 Pro key now, click on the link in the description below. Now a couple disclaimers before we get into the nitty gritty. For starters, I am not an experienced audiophile, nor would I consider myself exceptionally knowledgeable about the intricacies of sound engineering and sound reproduction. Currently, the Focal Stelia is also the first and only high-end headphone I've ever owned. So rather than compare it to other headphones in its class, I'll instead be discussing my thoughts on my first true hi-fi experience with the Stelia as an average consumer. For a significantly more technical evaluation of this device, check out the excellent review from Resolve, a well-respected headphone and sound equipment reviewer in the audiophile community, whose video link I will put in the description. The second disclaimer is that I am fully aware that some viewers may find it irrelevant or even pointless to make a video about a product with such an outrageous price tag. And while I know its high barrier to entry means only a very small percentage of people will likely be interested in buying this product, I still think there's some value in sharing my personal experiences with it, for those curious, along with imparting some of the things I've learned so far from my initial step into the audiophile rabbit hole. With that out of the way, I guess I should start by explaining what compelled me to drop three grand on a pair of cans in the first place. Well, actually, I purchased my Stellias for only $2,300 on Amazon as they were a renewed item, but new pairs are still selling for the same MSRP as when they launched back in February of 2019. Anyway, my main motivations for pulling the trigger on such a headphone include my profound love for music and a growing desire to consume it in the most detailed, immersive way possible. Up until buying the Focal Stelia, the nicest headphone I'd ever owned had been the Biodynamic DT880 Pro, which I purchased over 10 years ago for about $250. Over the years, hearing the astounding sound improvement of the DT80 Pro over my generic $50 or even $100 earbuds made me increasingly curious. What would the next massive leap in sound quality be like? Could a super high-end headphone really offer the same staggering gains I experienced with my Biodynamics? Or would I regrettably find the upper echelon of headphones to follow a law of diminishing returns? Ultimately, my curiosity got the best of me. So I began conducting research on dozens of hi-fi headphones until I narrowed it down to the Focal Stelia. With my intention of using the cans at home and on the go, the Stelia seemed like a perfect fit. With the circumoral closed back design for ambient noise soundproofing and a low impedance of just 35 ohms for easy driving on portable audio players. After reading and watching a number of rave reviews and getting the blessing from a few of my audiophile friends, I added one Focal Stelia to my cart and placed the order. Upon arrival, unboxing this headphone was an experience in of itself. Exquisite packaging and materials indicated that what I was unwrapping was something truly special. Along with the device came a hard shell woven carrying case, a four foot unbalanced eighth inch stereo cable, a 10 foot balanced XLR cable, and an eighth inch to quarter inch adapter. While all the accessories are of high quality, it didn't take me long to purchase an aftermarket balanced braided cable for about 25 bucks, as I found the balanced cable that comes included to be cumbersome with its rubber casing and 10 foot length. Now, taking a close up look, the Stelia embodies a breathtaking aesthetic at first glance. And second glance. And third glance. Its bold design and copper color is certainly not for everyone, but in my opinion, it's a visually stunning headphone that's uniquely mesmerizing and essentially a functional piece of art. More importantly, it's crafted with exceptional attention to detail and build quality. A cognac finish stainless steel case with tight circular patterns lines the outside, while authentic leather ear cups house full range speaker drivers featuring a 40 mm M shaped beryllium dome. Below the ear cups are a pair of eighth inch stereo jacks that have a secure bite on all the cables I've tried with them. The solid aluminum yokes are rigid, wobble free, 
and extend and retract incrementally from a full grain perforated leather headband. It goes without saying that the Stelias are made of the highest quality materials on any headphone I've ever owned, particularly the genuine full grain leather. The downside here is longevity and maintenance. You'll definitely want to pick up an aniline leather protector and cleaner to treat the headphones periodically to keep them in top form. Barring that though, the quality of materials not only make this headphone look and feel amazing, it also makes it extremely comfortable. Without experiencing any discomfort or fatigue, I can wear the Stelia for hours on end, and I have many, many times. I've even fallen asleep wearing them, only to wake up because a metal song started playing, which is a terrifying experience. The leather ear cups are super soft and plush with a light firmness that feels just right, as goes for the perforated headband, which stays breathable and cool. Fortunately, the clamping force hugs my average size head perfectly. It's snug enough to contain source audio at moderate volume levels, seals the ear cups while maintaining comfort, and keeps a fair amount of ambient noise out. However, these are not noise isolating or noise canceling, so listening at high volumes will result in sound leakage, and ambient noise is simply reduced, not eliminated. Having said that, the soundproofing is significantly better than any open back headphone out there, as to be expected. Not including the cable, the Stelia weighs 435 grams, or just shy of one pound, which is plenty light for my taste, and has never given me a sore spot on the top of my head after prolonged use. Whether I'm wearing them on the couch at home or in mid-flight, the incredible comfort and ergonomics of this headphone makes it seem to almost fade away on my head. When it comes to raw performance, the Focal Stelia sounds absolutely mind-blowing. To make a loose analogy, in terms of clarity and detail, Moving from the DTA80 Pro to this is like the sound equivalent of watching a video in 360p versus 4K. The Stelia is able to produce so much information in the sound reproduction that I was immediately hearing small nuances and new details in songs that I'd listened to dozens, if not hundreds of times. Before trying this headphone, it's almost as if I'd spent my whole life listening to music with cotton balls in my ears. Similar to how viewing content from VHS to Blu-ray feels like putting on a pair of much needed eyeglasses. Describing more specific sound properties of the Stelia, the bass is tight and punchy and has lots of presence, but with little bleeding into the mids, which is to say the Stelia separates frequencies quite well. The treble also delivers unbelievable detail, bringing voices and string instruments to life in a way I've never experienced, which lends a great degree of warmth to the overall sound signature. With the bass and treble so pronounced, some forum users I've seen have EQ'd their Stelias to bump up the mids and lower the outside frequency slightly, but I haven't been compelled to do this yet as I think they sound great out of the box. Being a closed back headphone, I was a bit skeptical at first that the sound stage might be lacking, but I was pleasantly surprised by an exceptional separation of the instruments that makes you feel like you can pinpoint each musician's position in the recording studio. That said, the openness seems to be more in line with a typical closed back design, as the scale of spaciousness seems notably more constrained than my open back DT880 Pro, for example. One thing to note is that the Stelia will let you know when a bad recording is a bad recording, and I've definitely come across a few poorly recorded songs that I actually prefer to listen to on less analytical headphones that won't highlight every little flaw. Overall though, the tonality, detail, and soundstage combine to deliver a level of immersion that's seriously off the charts. Unless I'm at a live show or a concert, listening to music has always been a background activity for me. But listening to this headphone commands 100% of my attention, where all I can do is lounge in a chair with my eyes closed while being enveloped by the music. These cans are so immersive, taking them off mid-song can feel jarring. Kind of like unplugging the TV in the midst of watching an intensely gripping movie scene. In my opinion, while there's nothing better to pump through this headphone than some good tunes, a lot of what makes the Stelia great for music makes it terrific for gaming as well. Whether it's enemy footsteps or reloading, the Stelia's dynamic soundstage and positional audio lets you approximate where every nearby sound is coming from with a high level of accuracy. I was amazed by how well I could pinpoint enemies above or below me, despite the headphone only having two-channel audio. Due to the Stelia's insane detail retrieval, even the most subtle sound effects, like a grenade pin being pulled in the distance, are elevated and brought to the forefront of your ears with crystal clarity. Competitive advantages aside, 
Pairing this headphone with titles having good sound design and epic soundtracks adds a whole other level of immersiveness to gameplay. Heck, my first five minutes of Halo Infinite were just spent at the main menu listening to the theme song. Mind you, this is just from plugging the headphones straight into the rear I.O. of the motherboard. Sure, an external amp deck would enhance the experience, but that's the one thing I love about the Stelia. Its low impedance means you can still get lots of volume out of your connected devices without much assistance. When listening to music away from my desk, however, I do use a Fio M11 Plus LTD, an Android-based DAP digital audio player, which features a built-in amp and DAC that lets the Stelia enter full beast mode, allowing me to crank the headphone to the player's max volume with virtually no distortion. It's actually a superior listening experience to being front row at a live concert due to how incredibly pure the sound is while still being loud enough to blow your clothes off. Owning my first hi-fi headphone has also come with some wonderfully unexpected benefits. For one, the sound quality is so good, I've begun listening to genres outside my taste, like blues, jazz, and country. Yes, even country. Artists and songs I was never partial to have become more enjoyable simply due to how immersive the listening experience is. I would almost relate it to why some people who don't like video games can still have a great time playing VR. To be honest, I never thought a headphone could get me to branch outside my bubble, but it's been a thoroughly enjoyable way to discover new music and develop an even greater appreciation for music as a whole. Another unforeseen perk of my new cans is that they've actually created a new and fun way for me to connect with people. I've already demoed the Stellias for dozens of friends and family members, all of whom have been just as awestruck by its quality as I have. There's been no shortage of epic reactions, with bulging eyes and dropped jaws as people process the magical experience for the first time. It's often led to them suggesting songs for me to try on the headphone, and before long, we find ourselves having a listening party, sharing our favorite tracks, and enjoying the music together. Unfortunately, my words in this video cannot express the remarkable sound quality of a hi-fi headphone like the Focal Stelia. And it's something you simply have to experience firsthand to fully understand why anyone in their right mind would drop thousands of dollars on a pair of cans. Even after trying them out, the thought of such a purchase still sounds certifiably insane to most people, and I would be the first to agree. At the same time, when I consider how much perspective, appreciation, and joy this device has brought me in the short time I've owned it, I'd be lying to myself if I said that this hasn't been one of the most fulfilling and surprisingly rewarding tech purchases I've made in a very long time. A review sample would have been nice though. Thanks again to cdkeyoffers.com for sponsoring this video. Right now, the site has keys for Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition for over 50% off its normal price at just $15. Just one of the many everyday deals that you'll find on cdkeyoffers.com. To start browsing a massive library of affordable and reliable software keys, click on the link in the description below. That's gonna do it for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, toss a like before you go, subscribe for more tech content on the way, and I'll see you guys in the next one.